tightening up at the top of the straight. They're past the halfway stage, and it's Pestrella on the rail, Ben Cohn in front of Magic Shagaga, and Oshi Noor trying to throw down a challenge. Then Sinanta out after them in third for Kevin Manning. Ubume is next, then Lynn Britt Cabin, followed by Marionette, and Lovelier as they raced out of the final 200 yards. And in the lead is Pestrella fighting them off from Lynn Britt Cabin and Magic Shagag in between horses, then Ubume up towards the finish. A driver here, Lindbergh Cabin on the near side has possibly got up. Tightening up at the top of the straight, they're past the halfway stage, and it's Pestrella on the rail, Ben Cohen in front of Magic Shagaga, and Oshi Noor trying to throw down a challenge, then Sinanta out after them in third for Kevin Manning, Ubume is next, then Lynn Britt Cabin, followed by Marionette, and Lovelier as they race down to the final 200 yards, and in the lead is Pestrella fighting them off from Lynn Britt Cabin, and Magic Shagag in between horses, then Ubume up towards the finish, a Driver here, Lindbergh Cabin on the near side has possibly got up to deprive Bestrella and Magic Chicago. It's Pirate Lass in the yellow jacket, Ronan wheeling round the bend just in the lead from line judge in the centre, Declan McDonough, Pixel Power Tracks in third place for Shane Foley, racing on towards the final two furlongs, Fair Quars just behind those three, with homecoming, Crystal Eye, the white cap on the outside is Red Pants, racing down to the final furlong and it's Pirate Lass and line judge, coming now on the outside is Fair Quar. Pixel par next with Edith Tay in homecoming, and it's line judge in the center, strongly pressed by Fairquar. Fairquar on the line from line judge. It's Pirate Lass in the yellow jacket, Ronan wheeling round the bend just in the lead from line judge in the centre, Declan McDonough, Pixel Power Tracks in third place for Shane Foley, racing on towards the final two furlongs, Fair Quars just behind those three, with homecoming, Crystal Eye, the white cap on the outside is Red Pants, racing down to the final furlong and it's Pirate Lass and line judge, coming now on the outside is Fair Quar. Pixel par next with Edithe in homecoming, and it's line judge in the centre, strongly pressed by Fairqua. Fairqua on the line from line judge and Pirate Lass in a gap to Crystal Eye. And Porter Rockwell driven on the outside of Sounds of Spring, Radical Approach, and then Bly. Racing in the straight with just over two to go, and it is Jungle Cove and Shane Foley. Press one from the rail by Maker of Kings and Colin Keane. Couple of lengths back to a running on Ming Warrior and Lee Roach. Then Amin and Mosales, Maker of Kings, just bags a narrow advantage from a battling Jungle Cove. Ming Warrior is on the outside as they run up towards the finish. It's Maker of Kings holding Ming Warrior. Maker of Kings is off the mark first time for Colin Keane and Gerline's big day tomorrow. And Porto Rockwell driven on the outside of Sounds of Spring, Radical Approach and then Bly. Racing in the straight with just over two to go and it is Jungle Cove and Shane Foley. Press one from the rail by Maker of Kings and Colin Keane. Couple of lengths back to a running on Ming Warrior and Lee Roach. Then Amin and Mosales, Maker of Kings just bags a narrow advantage from a battling Jungle Cove. Ming Warrior is on the outside as they run up towards the finish. It's Maker of Kings holding Ming Warrior. Maker of Kings is off the mark first time for Colin Keane and Gerline's big day tomorrow. Ming Warrior second, Jungle Cove third, then Amin Mosala five. Past the halfway stage as they turn into the straight in the first division of the Download the Boyle Sports app handicap. Heads turn for home and it's Gormanston from Rain or Shine and getting a great run through over on the far side is Above Us Only Sky, then Hidden Spark and Mulzam from the back of the field and they're being followed by Silk Cravette, Burning Lake and Very Smart as Above Us Only Sky is driven on. Chased by Mulzam, Gormanston has dropped back to third and then Silk Cravette, Hidden Spark next into the closing stages. It's above us only sky from Mulzam as they go towards the line. Small margins there. Mulzam and above us only sky. 
past the halfway stage as they turn into the straight and the first division of the Download the Boyle Sports app handicap. Heads turn for home and it's Gormanston from Rain or Shine and getting a great run through over on the far side is Above Us Only Sky, then Hidden Spark and Mulzam from the back of the field and they're being followed by Silk Crevette, Burning Lake and Very Smart as Above Us Only Sky is driven on. Chased by Mulzam, Gormanston has dropped back to third and then Silk Crevette, Hidden Spark next into the closing stages. It's above us only Sky from Mulzam as they go towards the line. Small margins there. Mulzam and above us only Sky. Then Sir Cravat, Hidden Spark, Gormanston and Burning Lake. the top of the straight just over three to go and it's annexation and Wayne Lorden turning in in front of Raffaello who's pushed along by Nathan Cross and receiving reminders Acladora the black jacket is trying to get on terms Connor Maxwell all the mollies is in the blue then Radisha with go west young lad sensual scent dark magic and dynamite racing down to the final furlong and it's annexation a couple of lengths in front of Acladora Raffaello and then Radisha all the mollies and dark magic and into the closing stages it's annexation and Wayne Lorton for Henry de Bromhead comfortable winners by two and a half second is Acladora at the top of the straight just over three to go and it's annexation and Wayne Lorton turning in in front of Raffaello who's pushed along by Nathan Cross and receiving reminders Acladora the black jacket is trying to get on terms Connor Maxwell all the mollies is in the blue then Radisha with go west young lad sensual scent dark magic and dynamite racing down to the final furlong and it's annexation, a couple of lengths in front of Acladora, Raffaello, and then Rudisha, all the mollies and dark magic. And into the closing stages, it's annexation. And Wayne Lorton for Henry de Bromhead, comfortable winners by two and a half. Second is Acladora, judge for the third between all the mollies and Rudisha. Final four are Eden Gardens, High Altitude, Mokalat, and me, myself, and moi. Round the final turn they come, and little to choose between. Shatterat, one from the rail. On the rail is These Days, War Hero, Bucky Larson. Just behind them is Gallic with Stormy Bell as they begin the run of the final furlong. Shatterat is reheaded by These Days. Stormy Bell is in a pocket and then comes Bucky Larson, Royal Highness. Tommy Taylor runs on with War Hero as Bucky Larson gets to the front in the closing stages from Tommy Taylor and Royal Highness. It is Bucky Larson, the winner from close. Final four are Eden Gardens, High Altitude, Mokalat, and me, myself, and moi. Round the final turn they come, and little to choose between. Shatterat, one from the rail. On the rail is These Days, War Hero, Bucky Larson. Just behind them is Gallic with Stormy Bell as they begin the run of the final furlong. Shatterat is reheaded by These Days. Stormy Bell is in a pocket and then comes Bucky Larson, Royal Highness. Tommy Taylor runs on with War Hero as Bucky Larson gets to the front in the closing stages from Tommy Taylor and Royal Highness. It is Bucky Larson, the winner from, close from... Tommy Taylor and Royal Highness, and after them was a running on Grey Sir Jack Thomas. Turning into the straight with two and a half furlongs to go, and it's Feminist and Mer Catrine, precious little between them, followed by At War and Captain T with Bella Brazil, War of a Lady on the outside of Point Reyes. They're inside the two mark Feminista, pressed now by the green jacketed At War and then Mer Catrine, who's lost her place. Bella Brazil is staying on, and they're followed by War of a Lady, Point Reyes, and Captain T. Feminista is still fighting them off, Bella Brazil. And and at war in between horses, it's a three-way going to the judge. Bella Brazil possibly had the head down at the right time. Turning into the straight with two and a half furlongs to go, and it's Feminist and Mer Catrine, precious little between them, followed by At War and Captain T with Bella Brazil, War of a Lady on the outside of Point Reyes. They're inside the two mark Feminista, pressed now by the green jacketed At War and then Mer Catrine, who's lost her place. Bella Brazil is staying on, and they're followed by War of a Lady, Point Reyes, and Captain T. Feminista is still fighting them off, Bella Brazil. And and at war in between horses, it's a three-way going to the judge. Bella Brazil possibly had the head down at the right time. Feminista boxed on on the rail and at war was in third place.
straightening up for home, Shona May on the rail, the leader in the green and white, followed by Sweet Justice and Philly's Hope. Divine Kelt is in fourth place, then Dashing Diamond. Under pressure is Jan Vellens, and then Tommy the Hat as they raced out of the final furlong. Still in the lead is Shona May from Philly's Hope. Sweet Justice there in between horses, then Divine Kelt, who's coming again ahead of Dashing Diamond. Into the final 100 yards, Shona May all out. Sweet Justice trying hard. Divine Kelt next. Yet again, Shane Foley, Jessica Harrington, Shona May makes all in the last to beat.